everybody, welcome to another Waifu Wednesday. This time around we have a Azure Lane box. Um, I was kind of planning on getting this, but I was ordering a different box of Waifu cards and the seller messaged me that the one I had already bought was sold out. That happens to me a few times. And actually, um, one of my friends actually bought that box too and suggested buying it and he was also told that it was sold out so i'm not really sure what happened so i got this as a replacement box but i had to pay five dollars extra i don't know why i think it was slightly more money than the box i ordered i'm glad at least i got this box because i was kind of planning on getting this i did get a bonus gold card so i'll go through that first um it is the goddess story merry christmas of course and it is i don't know if this is 104 out of 200 promo cards or this is like a numbered card and they only made 200 of these if that makes sense but this is a pretty nice uh who's that not sure who that is but a pretty nice gold card it is a little mangled um but it's always fun getting these and i do appreciate getting these extra little cards um i think i got it with this box i don't recall i lose track of when i get these gold cards because i just kind of throw them in a bin but that's not too bad. All right, let's dive right into the box here. I like Azure Lane. I don't have the game. I'm scared to play another gotcha game, but I do have all of the art books because they're really nice. But yeah, this is the BLXH01. And it looks like I do have a box topper. I'll open that at the end. But yeah, we already have some kind of nice looking art on the inside and yeah I always want to keep these boxes but I just don't have room for all these boxes of cards yeah I barely have room for the cards themselves so let's dive right in here let me know if you guys like Azure Lane um, I know it's super popular there's tons of figures I just got a figure the other day which is really really nice um yeah looks like this is your two packs two cards per pack box which i always hate and at least these have foil stamping which i always appreciate and yeah these are actually not too bad speaking of not too bad we got this one with the always amazing foil it's amazing in multiple ways. At least this one, there's not really a lot of foil over her face, so you can see the art. Um, I love the foil when it's on there. It always cracks me up. But yeah, it doesn't seem like you go get a whole heck of a lot of cards in this box. And I paid a little bit more for this. We got an SSR. and a SR, again with a fun foil. Not too bad. Moving right along, I definitely do not like the two card packs. We got a UR card, which is pretty nice. Did I already get a UR card? No, I got a QR earlier. Always like the gold stamping. SR card. Not a bad set. I think, like I said, I think it was a little pricey, so. Because I definitely would buy more. These are, these are nice. And I, I really kind of want to save this box. Maybe I'll make an exception. It's really hard to see the names of the card. The 
art itself isn't that good, if I'm being honest, compared to like the official art. Especially because like I said, I have the art books and it's way more detailed than these. These are very close to like fan art. Ooh, this one's really rough. Look at that. Those divots. Not great. Oh, dupes already. Brutal. Yeah, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I should recommend this. I don't know that I would at this point. Ooh, this one's good. TG card. Nice purple. But again, I like the foil stamping around everything. Makes it feel luxe. Not bad. This is silly. The text overrun. Not too bad though. We got a nice uh, ZR card. Again with the foil stamping. Love it. That one's pretty good. So there are some decent rare card types. I love the foil, of course. Dazzling. <laughs> Moving right along. You got dupe of that one, unfortunately. All right, uh, three more to go. Gosh, I got that one three times. Again, awesome foil, but some tool markings. Good old Prince Eugen. No, Prince Heidreich. All right, an ultimate pack. Too bad. And the dupe of that one. Way too many dupes in such a small amount of cards. And some more amazing foil. Gotta love it. So yeah, that's the normal packs. Um, I'd have to say my favorite probably is this one. It's just a nice, I like the art and I like the foil. But yeah, let's take a look at the hit pack. Feels like there's two cards in here as usual. But it is one thick giant card and it is indomitable again with the awesome foil stamping and the thick card stock which sometimes I don't understand but yeah SGR card not too bad I don't know I still think I like this one better to be honest so yeah that's the Azure Lane uh, box. I don't know. This is a tough one to recommend. I really like the rare cards. They got really nice art. Um, the rest of the art's kind of funky. Um, but I'd say if you like this brand, definitely take a look and find this. I believe it's still, uh, I think it's still for sale as of May, 2024. Um, but yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your favorite one was and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks everybody.